Yeah, uh, so I want to start just to say thanks to everybody because without a common love and passion, uh, why would any of us be here? And 23 years ago, I did my first race. And I don't know how all of you got into it, but I was at the lake riding for fun one day and I saw a guy running around buoys. And I know nobody's ever heard that when you say, yeah, I race uh, PWCs. And they go, you guys have a sport for that? Well, that's what happened. I saw a guy, I started racing with him. Went to a couple races, and then in 1996, this is my 20th year doing the complete national tour. And that's why I think it's time to stop. <laughs> and uh, so 20 years ago, Chris Lauper, a promoter, turned me on to this really cool guy who I'm blessed to say is one of the few people who's here right now, Sam Neely. And Sam bought my first tour boats in 1996, and I went racing. And, um, you know, there was another guy who got me into it named Ben James. Again, you people have been around a long time probably know what this is about. But I started thinking about what is this racing all about? And what does it really mean? Competition, it's fun. That's why we do it. Think about how much money we spend for a little plaque every weekend. And at the end of the day, I really have been thinking a lot coming up to... Uh, Today. It's all about people. This tour has been my fun. It's a dysfunctional extended family. But my life's really different because I got to race. I've met people from all around the globe I've never met. You know, I'm an extrovert, I like to talk to everybody. But I would have never had these friends from Canada, South America, Kuwait, Indonesia, Japan, Europe, France, England, Cayman Islands. The list goes on. And all of you have changed my life for the better. I met People with different friendships, different viewpoints on life, right? <laughs> and had many conversations, been exposed to cultures. And I became so involved with this family, there were times I neglected my own. I missed birthdays, weddings, and life events just to be in a race. I sacrificed a lot to go after a dream. And what is life if you can't chase your dreams? I always said a bad day at the races is better than a, a good day at the office as long as nobody gets hurt. You know, and I, I've lived by that philosophy and I hope a lot of you people can embrace similar ideals as you move forward. This has been a life-changing experience. I think about the places by touring, not just racing the regions, I've seen the entire United States. I've been everywhere, wherever the tour took us, we went, I stopped on the road, I had a lot of cool adventures, and my world was changed from racing. It's not about a piece of wood, it's the stories behind it. Who are we? We are defined by our stories. That's what makes us the people we are. Your past is what makes you who you are today, and who you will be tomorrow. I remember championships, and some defining races, but much more than that, I remember late night clown sessions, Jokes and pranks, playing hockey by headlights and quads in the dark, playing football on beaches, dance party in my trailer and <laughs> in the 90s, and so much more. Going on the tour, going off that I'm going to miss working for championships a little, but I'm going to miss the most is going to be all the people. Of making memories, of meeting new and interesting people, the race lifestyle, I've been a part of it so long. I've been racing something since I was 12 years old. I really don't know what old people are supposed to do. So, uh, I mean, like, I think I might go crazy. You know, um, I'll see you guys close to home. I, I intend to still keep doing Panama City, Lake Hartwell, things that aren't far. But I'm trying to open up a, a new chapter in my life and hopefully pass the torch, create a family of my own for a change. And I'm learning to do all this stuff. You know, I'm trying to have a kid with my wife, we just got married. It's not easy, and that's why this time has come. I will say this, 
I'm going to miss this family a lot. This is the one that changed my life. You guys will always have my heart. I pray that somehow all these will be stays with you. You guys keep living your dream, and thanks.